I could have stopped coronavirus, says the Lord. I watched him in the labs as they put it together. I watched him as they began to loose it on the nations. And I could have stopped it. I did not say it, the Lord, because I was going to use it, that what the enemy intended for evil, I would turn it into good. God said, I allowed this to happen because I have knocked the silliness out of my church. Hayabobobo Sunday. Hallelujah. God said there has been such a lack of reverence in the house of the Lord. There has been such a lack of respect. The Lord said they've sat in my sanctuary with a Diet Coke in one hand and a raised hand in the other, dressed inappropriately with no prayer life and no pursuit of me. God said, when I turned your world upside down through the hand of the enemy, the Lord said, hallelujah, I begin to birth something new. Do not be moved, says the Lord, by the proclamation that there's another virus coming. Maybe you can just hand me a hand help. Do not be moved by what the enemy is saying, because did I not say that the enemy would rage and men would imagine a vain thing? I allowed it the first time, but God said that which the enemy forges out of hell against the house of the Lord, this time I will turn on the enemy. Marabobobo Sunday, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Lord said, I am not giving up this season of revival. I am not giving up this season of the open heaven that the enemy can come in and prosper again and shut my church down. You may have hid me in the upper room for 10 days, saith the Lord, but I came out of that upper room and I spilled into the nations. I will not be silenced this time, saith the Lord. You will not put a mask on my mouth, for I have already, saith God, I will not re- Recall the prophetic. I will not recall the sound of praise. I will not allow the enemy to shut me up. But this is the final move of the Lord, saith God. It's going to get more intense, more powerful, and more great. I have done work in a secret place. Because the enemy's army was more prepared than the church. And I also did declare unto you that what I am doing is going to come through local church. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I also say this that I am shutting many churches down. And there will be empty places, empty buildings, because they did not make room for me. And they embraced a woke philosophy. And for all of the ministers that stood in pulpits and would not take a stand, saith God, for righteousness, I am going to allow what the enemy would have done to the church to come upon you. For judgment begins in the house of the Lord. For you have said, God, judge the nations, judge the wicked, judge the politicians. And God said, if I judge them, it's because I've already released judgment on the house of the Lord. You have polluted my house. It's made it ugly and unclean. And I have been in a season, saith God, where I am washing the church and the bride with the blood of the Lamb. But the days are coming, saith God, 
that there will no longer be a need of repentance because I and my bride are becoming one. And the moment we become one, saith God, I am releasing an apostolic Holy Ghost authority by the Spirit of God into the sanctuary of the Lord.